Hello guys, this is my first ever talking video and welcome to my channel if you if you everyone is new here so welcome everyone to my channel and today I wanted to show you everything that I crocheted and knitted in 2023. So I'm gonna start by uh, organizing the things by months. So I'm gonna start from everything that I made in January, February and so on. Some of the latest projects I just finished at the beginning of 2024 but I want to put it in my 2023 video because it's been a long journey with uh, learning how to knit and yeah so let's get into the video. So I'm gonna be putting the pictures here so you can see better because obviously I don't have all of the things that I made. Some of them are sold, some of them I gave to my friends and family, some of them I'm selling in a little studio outside of Warsaw so there's a lot of things that I don't own right now but the first thing I made are these crocheted hats like bucket hats that I started with at the beginning of uh, 2023 and this was the time where I finally got back into my crocheting era and I came back to it and I started making these hats and I made about six of them and right now I don't think I have any more any of them because I sold all of them or gave it to my friends or like family and stuff um, but yeah they were like pretty simple I started with them to get back to, to crocheting and to get back to my abilities and yeah they were fun they were colorful I made them into different patterns, different shapes, I combined the colors differently. The second thing that I made when I finally felt a bit more confident in what I was doing was this sleeve rainbow mohair kind of bolero thing. Uh, and I was really proud of that one, like I loved it so much, I was like this was what got me back into like full on crocheting in 2023. I really love it and I saw it actually about a month ago. Um, so yeah, first I, I was thinking about keeping it to myself but uh, but yeah I just wanted I wanted to share my my work with the with the world. Yeah I was very excited about selling that one. And again in February I made a bunch of these flower beanies uh, that I found on Pinterest. Uh, I couldn't really find the creator that uh, first made them like made the pattern if you know them you can tag them under because i would love to know the actual creator of that one uh but yeah i just made a bunch of these beanies and i sold some of them some of them i gave to my friends i got some custom order orders for these so there were a lot of people that were interested in these i was i was very happy about that okay next thing I, that i made it was around end of February and the beginning of March was this purple vest with like a lot of holes a lot of um, these spaces in between stitches I used like the triple uh, stitch for that one I love that vest so so much and we did a bunch of photo shoot with it with my boyfriend and this is a picture of uh, one of the models that we did a photo shoot with and she modeled all my crochet uh, crocheted things that I made during that time so I was very excited about that. This one is not sold, it's actually still available in this studio in uh, next to Warsaw in Wood where I'm selling some of my things so if you guys are interested uh, I'm gonna link the store down below the Instagram page. Then we are moving now to March uh, and in March the first thing that I made was this custom birthday present for uh, a friend of one of the girls that was babysitting at that time they ordered this custom hat for birthday for the birthday of one of their friends uh, and i had so much fun making that one like i loved the little details the little uh, flowers at the bottom i am really just like i love the vini so much like the covered ears the ears on top the color most fun custom orders that I've ever got so that was a really fun one and also together with that beanie for the custom orders I made these gloves, the colorful gloves the order was made by the girls that were around 8 or 9 years old and they requested 
one water globe and one fire globe so i made these two in this uh two contrasting colors and that was a lot of fun and the next thing that i made in march was my first attempt to make a crochet balaclava but only right now i understood that i don't think crochet is very much suitable for a balaclava because i just made my first knitted balaclava and i understood the difference so this one is not my best work definitely it like i still love it i still think it was very fun to make it and i just think that the shape could have been a bit better we did also this photo shoot with it which i think turned out really great and the model just looked amazing in everything so uh there's nothing to say about that on the pictures it looks amazing uh i just think i need to work better on the i had to work better on the shape it was still a nice experience i just i think balaclava is gonna be for knitting from now on for me um because crochet was not really working with that pattern the next thing that i made in march was this sweater that i absolutely love i decided to go out a little bit out of my comfort zone and try to make the sweater not as perfect as i would usually like to make my things so i left the strings hanging i made a bunch of hole inside of it and i loved how it turned out and this is one piece that i kept for myself because it's very sentimental for me it's kind of like it's kind of like a breakthrough in my crochet knitting making clothes kind of journey because it's been yeah it was like the first big and full piece that i made and i i really love it i'm definitely planning on making more of these maybe in different colors uh and different sizes obviously uh, so yeah and um, now we are moving on to april in april one of the first things that i made again was the flower beanies and here is one of my sister uh she requested these colors and i also made a few i think three or four more for some of mine and some of her friends that ordered the custom uh the custom beanies and yeah that was fun again it was like a pretty easy project for me to do i was already experienced with that pattern that i tried to make on my own so that was fun and the next thing that i made in april are these hats with uh, mohair bows and this little braids going down here and i actually have one of it with me because i kept one for myself and i made around two or three more uh just in uh, different colors and that's the one that i kept for myself was the first one that i've ever made and they it has this little cute mohair bows on it the colors are really pretty i really love them uh, and it has this little braid going down here with a little more hair ball on the bottom again um, and yeah and actually later in this year around november i made another one because i thought i lost this one so i made one that was very very similar and then i found this one so now i have two of them and I'm gonna be selling this one definitely. I'm gonna be putting it on my website and that's also gonna be linked down, down below. Uh, oh yeah, it's basically the same, almost the same colors. I just used some more of this alpaca yarn, this purple alpaca yarn that I really like and I still have a lot of it. So I'm gonna be using it in some of my new projects and there again, the mohair bows and yeah, it's, uh, these are really cute i really like them and uh, i'll be selling them in different colors uh very soon on my website and together with the uh, hats i made this fingerless gloves again and i kept them also for myself because i was still practicing the pattern so this is how they look i just different colors put together different type of types of yarn there is mohair there is acrylic yarn there is wool there is merino wool it looks like that i really like them uh, i'm definitely gonna be making more of these very soon and the next thing that i made in april was a present actually it was this bag with this blue 
kind of sunflower eye pattern. Um, I don't remember how this thing is called. Whatever. I'm gonna write it down here. I saw it on Pinterest and I had to make it. So yeah, uh, the next thing that I made was actually also one of my favorites from this year. And it's this orange fuzzy mohair vest that I made from one of my favorite yarns that I've ever found. This beautiful autumn colors. And yeah, I just, I love that one so much. It was the first time that I've ever brushed mohair. So it was an amazing experience. And this is how it looks. Uh, and I did some ribbing with uh, orange mohair at the, at the bottom and at the sleeves, uh, also at the neckline. I really like that one. It's still available for purchasing uh, also at the studio where I'm selling uh, my stuff at. So if you're interested, there's going to be a link. And the next thing that I made in April is this top, like a flower top that uh, I also found on Pinterest. And I'm going to uh, write here the creator that made the pattern. Uh, I, I love this top so much. It took me a lot of time to figure out how to make the, the flowers. It took a very long time to make that one, but it was really worth it. I, I really like it. I love the colors. And now we are moving on to May. And in May, uh, I made this bag that took me a long, long time. And it was, I think, a whole month of trying to figure this out and making the this little landscape here uh, I found this uh, photo on Pinterest and I just uh, remade it into uh, a pattern on one of the website where you can convert it into like the little stitches uh, and yeah I made it for my boyfriend and I really like this one here and the details it's like a little landscape with sheep. Uh, and at the back there is this flower that I made with my own pattern and this kind of petals that are pretty. Um, inside I put a little material, some material that I saw with my grandma on the sewing machine so that the back doesn't stretch. And yeah, I'm very, very proud of this one. It's very cute. And yeah, I love that one. That's my May creation. <laughs> and actually the only thing that I made in May. I'm very proud of it. I just forgot that actually I made two more things in uh, in May. And are actually two also of my favorites. So I don't know how I forgot about them. But it's one of them is this sleeve uh, top, this sleeve bolero that I made for my best friend and here is a picture of her in it on our vacation together I love it and she loved it so much and yeah and the second thing is the skirt that I made that I absolutely love and I'm also gonna tag the creator of the original pattern for this uh, in the description because I didn't create the idea for that one I just uh, I saw it on Pinterest and I fell in love and yeah this is me wearing it also on vacation so yeah, these two, these two things that I forgot about that I also made in May. And right now we are moving towards the end of the year because in June, July, August and September I've been traveling a lot. So I didn't really make anything. I didn't really crochet or knit anything. Um, yeah, because I've been, I've been on my travels. So there, there are going to be vlogs coming out also from that period. Uh, but now we are moving towards the end of the year, so October, November and December and I'm gonna kind of mix the pieces that I made at that time because it was the time when I learned how to knit finally and I am so proud of it because I've been trying to knit for a very very long time and I've been having a very hard time with it I couldn't get the stitches right, I couldn't just... it was not working for me, everything was twisted and just not it but I finally decided that I, I just have to do it and I have to learn how to knit. Uh, and yeah, I started off with a panel sweater. It was a pretty difficult thing to make as a beginner, but I did it. And I'm so proud of myself. It's definitely my favorite piece that I made this year. 
and this is it it's this knitted sweater with very big sleeves and the ribbing at the bottom ribbing on the neckline i used many different types of yarn there's mohair there is wool there is acrylic yarn there's this different weight yarn very thin and very thick one and i i love the contrast between between the different stripes and it's my favorite piece to wear right now i'm gonna put in a picture of me here in florence wearing the sweater because i couldn't wait to wear it as soon as i made it and yeah it's definitely my favorite piece i love it and i'll be wearing it the whole winter because i am too excited for that one uh, the next thing that i made is this scarf this mohair scarf that i made from the yarn that was left from the sweater i really like it it's kind of like giving cotton candy vibes with the colors it's very lightweight it's very easy to wear and it's very soft and i love this one i love it i'd be i'm wearing it all the time right now so yeah the next thing that i made is this crocheted little scarf that has kind of a similar pattern to the flower top that i made earlier this year uh the green one and yeah it's just like an easy scarf that you can wrap around your neck more for like spring early early spring time since it's too cold to wear it right now but i really like it, it was just a fast and easy project and moving on to the last thing that i made this year and actually finished it off at the beginning of 2024 so i just finished it a few days ago but it's my balaclava it's my knitted first ever knitted balaclava and i'm so proud of it um i'm gonna link um down uh, in the description the tutorial that i made it with uh, i had so much fun doing it i'm making another one right now and i'm wearing it every day it's my favorite thing to wear i love it so much and it's just perfect like i can't believe it came out so perfect on the first try it's it's my also one of my favorite pieces that i made this year so i love it so much and yeah that will be it for for my video today and these are all the pieces that i made this year i'm very excited for 2024 and everything that i'm gonna make uh, because with my new skill of knitting right now i really can't wait to create new pieces and for sure i'm gonna be selling a lot of these i'm planning to open like a proper store online with uh, all my pieces so i'm very excited about that and yeah i hope you guys like the video thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next one bye